Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Determine two angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees that will have a secant of negative 5. Step number 1. If you think about the given secant, theta equals the negative 5. So think about negative 5 in terms of negative 5 divided by 1. Step number two, if you think about the reciprocal function secant theta, this is equal to one divided by cosine theta. So you can write down one divided by cosine theta equals the negative five divided by one. Step number three, if you take the reciprocal of both sides, cosine theta equals the one divided by negative five. And of course, to be clear, you can put the negative at the top. So negative one divided by five. And the reason I'm saying this is because when you draw a diagram, C-A-S-T, recognizing that cosine is going to be negative, you're going to draw two triangles specifically in quadrants two and three. Now again, if you go back and you look at the right-hand side is negative one divided by five, which means adjacent over hypotenuse. And again, you can grab your calculator Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Take the inverse cosine of negative one divided by five. Now when you do that, angle theta is gonna be approximately 101.536959. If you round to the nearest degree, it's approximately 102 degrees. What that means, and I'll use a different color for you, is that this angle right here is going to be 102 degrees. That is called the principal angle, by the way. And if you think about the related acute angle, that's going to be 180 minus 102, which is going to be 78 degrees. Same thing here, that's going to be 78 degrees. So the two answers, of course, one of them is going to be 102 degrees. The second answer, and again, I'll use a different color so you can see this angle, or angle theta is going to be, and you take half a circle, which is 180 degrees, by the way, and you're adding it to the related acute angle, 78 degrees, 180 plus 78. This is going to give you 258 degrees. Now, here comes the most important part. And again, I'm inviting all of you to double check this with me. So how do we know we're doing it right? Spend that one extra minute. You grab your calculator and you plug 102 degrees and 258 degrees back into the calculator. Now be mindful, when you're doing this, you can't really press secant in most scientific calculators. So what I'm really doing is I'm taking one divided by cosine of 102 uh, degrees, which is approximately negative 4.8. And again, because you are rounding the answer to 102 degrees, you're not going to get exactly negative 5, but it'll be very close to that number. Likewise, if I take 1 divided by cosine of 258, again, it's going to be negative 4.8, which is approximately negative 5. So by spending one extra minute, you can double check your answers to verify that these answers make sense. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.